What's up, everyone? Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye here. And if you haven't officially heard, the official announcement for the Canon Rebel T7i and the 77D has come out. I'm going to keep the M6 in a different video because there's a couple discussion points I want to hit with some things I already heard. But here's everything you need to know about the now official release of the T7i and the 77D. Pretty much just last week, uh, the leak specs came out, the pictures and everything like that. The 800D, the T7i came out. And not a lot of people were impressed pressed um what you call it so some of the comments like nothing exciting it's just typical there's nothing no 4k and once again there there was nothing fully official with it but now that it is february 14th around 11 p.m it was officially announced here's what we have that is actually similar between the t7i and the rebel line and the 77d it's going to have 45 points of autofocus and cross type so that's pretty interesting especially for the uh, t7i i'll break down the other two in a second but more similarities it has the typical 24.2 uh, megapixel sensor it's a crop sensor it's actually both are going to have the dual pixel autofocusing and that's going to become a standard for them and that is absolutely what canon needs to do as it's very very good especially for videography Digic 7 processor is going to be a norm throughout all these, especially the M6 as well, which I'll cover in a separate video. ISO 100 to 25,600. You're not going to want to shoot that high, but that's just there if you need it. Very angle touchscreen. It comes out. It articulates. Um, three inch touchscreen. Touch whatever, you know. And the other interesting thing is that it will have movie electronic image stabilization. Now, it's not necessarily built in. It's not working with lenses and everything for the most part. Essentially just going to be you got to see how it works. I mean, sometimes electronic image stabilization without it being physically built in is not that smooth and it is not that good. So, and it shoots fixed. Uh, they all both will shoot six frames per second. So that's the gist of everything right there. But let's break down what's essentially new with this stuff. And they're both going to be around late March, early April for buying ability. The T7i is the first Rebel in the entire line to use a 45 point cross focus especially within the, the optical viewfinder. So that's a big deal for something like that. It's also one of the first in the Rebel line to use the um, dual pixel autofocusing, which is also another huge deal. It's going to do 1080p at 60 frames per second. So you're getting pretty much what's typical now. And the other thing that's going to include is feature assist. And that's really just to see how you're changing things. It's going to be this uh, setting you're going to use um, especially towards the back of the camera, and it's going to show you how things are changing, especially for someone really just getting into this. As you see the price right here, the body only is $750. That's not too bad, especially for something like this. It's the Rebel line. So keep that in mind. You're getting a couple things excluded, which you'll see with the 77D. And you're also going to have with the 18 to 55 newer kit lens, which is actually a worse f-stop. It starts at like a 4 or 4.5 or whatever. It actually started f4 to 5.6, which it's not that good, which is going to be about $900. So that's everything you're getting with the T7i. Um, for the Rebel line, is it, that is cool. You're getting the, um, the phase detect, dual pixel, 45 points, and you're getting things that are typically standard, you know, for their higher line, the 70D, the 80D, but the 77D is interesting. I don't know if it's necessarily an 80D replacement, but it almost might as well be for the most part. Um, with this one, you're getting the newer processor, the Digic 7, you're getting that increased performance as well. Still no 4K, so you're not getting anything majorly different. Same ISO range, everything like that. Top LCD screen you're getting, so that also hasn't changed much. The ergonomics are a little bit deeper. The grip is a little bit uh, deeper. So I guess you have a little bit more onto that as well. Same flip out screen. As you see, there's a couple more dials and the layout is actually looking a little better than where it is. The cool thing I wanna note right here, see if we can uh, get zoomed in on that right here, is where this AF on button is. That is a big deal for a lot of people. I really think I like the layout of this as well. So it is now more in a more ergonomic and better position. So 77D, uh, 1080p, 60 frames a second, top LCD screen. Any flicker is included in this, um, something you pretty much find in the 70D and the 80D as well. So if there's artificial lights, it'll counteract for that. And that's what you're gonna get with something like this. Body only 899 with that newer kit lens, which I don't recommend. It's gonna be around 1050 US dollars. I don't know if this is worth going, I, because even the 80D is still, pretty much more expensive than this. Um, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's officially an upgrade. And I think that is uh, up for discussion. Once again, I don't know if this is fully 
and upgrade for something like that. But as you see, they used a lot of what the T7i and the 77D, the, similar, the similarities that were there. Nothing too impressive for the 77D in my opinion, but especially for the Rebel line, that T7i is a huge deal in regards to what it's bringing in with the uh, cross, uh, with the autofocusing and dual pixel becoming common. This is a big deal for that, but to me, it's still nothing that really sticks out and it's really exciting. But I wanna know your thoughts down below. What do you think about the official announcement, everything that's included? Um, let's just see what's on the back right here. Um, yeah, they don't have the autofoc autofocusing bu uh, button up here, but on the 77D, I just think there's a couple cool little quirks right here. Let me, know, let me know your thoughts. This is the official announcement of the Rebel T7i, the 800D if you're overseas, and the 77D. I don't know what I would buy, but it's an interesting discussion. Would you take the 77D or would you go with the Canon 80D? I don't know. For the price, the 77D pretty much doing the exact same thing is pretty tempting over that. Um, so who knows? Uh, this might be something I want to test out, and I think I absolutely will. But T7i, it's kind of historic for everything that they include. Let me know down below. Is it worth it? Stay tuned if you want to know about the M6. A separate video is going to come out about this because there's a little bit more of a discussion. We'll talk about that more. Which one would you want of these if you're a Canon photographer or did they just miss the mark completely?